Hello and welcome back to the 10 warning signs of burnout. Today is day four and today let's chat about illness. So in this 10 day video series, we're addressing the 10 warning signs of burnout. So before we dive into today's main topic, let's back up and define what burnout is. Burnout is defined as a state of physical, mental, and emotional exhaustion that is caused by prolonged stress, excessive stress. It is due to the feeling of overwhelmed and that feeling of being emotionally drained. As the stress continues to build over time, you'll notice that your motivation and those things that you used to be interested in, well, you just no longer are interested in them. So this continues to show up as reduced productivity and loss of energy. The mental state is even more impacted and the feelings of helplessness eventually occur. The negative impact of burnout affects every part of your life. This includes work, social, and home life. The impact of burnout is also felt in the physical due to the long-term changes that occur which reduces your immune system and makes you more vulnerable to illnesses such as colds and flus. The physical signs and symptoms of burnout include frequent illnesses, feeling tired most of the time, frequent headaches, muscle aches and pains. You could also see changes in your appetite and sleeping patterns. So burnout is now recognized as a real medical diagnosis and is categorized as a syndrome, which means that it is a chronic disease. There are 10 major health problems associated with stress. According to WebMD, their, their studies have found uh, many health problems related to stress, and those increase um, conditions such as obesity, heart disease, Alzheimer's, diabetes, depression, and asthma, to name a few. Those major health issues are stress-related because when the body is under stress, it's more than just a physical response. You know that threat of fight, flight, or freeze. Your body responds by increasing your blood pressure, your heart rate, um, your breathing becomes quicker, and your body is flooded with hormones such as um, adrenaline. This is what leads to the major illnesses over time because of the chronic stress. So with all of those, you can clearly see that stress management and focusing on preventing burnout should be a priority. When we lower our stress levels and use tactics to manage stress, we are effectively reducing our risk of stress and the related illnesses. When beginning burnout prevention practice, a simple technique such as the 3R approach is an easy way to start. The 3R approach stands for recognize. To start, you want to become aware of your own signs for burn burnout. The second R is for reverse. This step is crucial in that you want to stop the progression of stress and begin stress management. The third R is rebuild. Here, you want to rebuild your mental, physical, and spiritual self and become devoted to self-care by making it a priority. So, depending on the stage of your chronic stress, you'll want to mitigate any damage that you might have already occurred. The first step is to stop and slow everything down. Now, I know this is difficult, especially when we have uh, demanding jobs and a lot of responsibilities. However, this is a very major first step to take. This step is where you simply take a, a close look at your mental attitude and force yourself to take a break. Start to stop doing things and some of those activities that are stretching you thin. Stop and get some rest. This is important for your whole well-being. Then the next step is to get help. You know, reaching out for help, I know it's not always easy. However, asking friends and family to just give you a little bit of help with maybe some of those little things on your to-do list so that you can step back and give yourself a little bit of time to recover. Then the next step is to get yourself realigned with what is important to you. Sit down and evaluate your life goals and values. Define what your priorities are 
then with that list, you can start to make those things important. You can make important adjustments to help you manage your stress. So that concludes today's video on the 10 warning signs of burnout with number four being illness. So I hope today's video will help you prevent burnout and live a fuller and happier life. Now, you can download the free 10 Warning Signs of Burnout PDF from the link below. Also, I would like to extend an invitation to you to book a free call, free Zoom call with me, just to talk about needs and concerns with dealing with stress and preventing burnout. Now, these little uh, exploratory interviews are only going to be about 15-20 minutes each and during that time that we spend together, you can feel free to ask me about tools and tactics to address some of those um, items that you might be stressed about. So to book a free session with me, click the link below and I'd love to get to know you and see how, um, how you're dealing with your stress and what questions you might have. Okay, so that's a wrap for today. Check, check back for the next video in our 10 Warning Signs series and I'll be discussing the next sign on our list of the 10 warning signs of burnout. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.